Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Out of all the themes in the world that could possibly be put on a board game, we see Kenny G and his saxophone. Now, this game has a Kenny G theme of just wanting to keep grooving. And our job as cooperatively playing this game is to help Kenny G keep grooving. And we'll do that by matching icons. We have to do it in a certain order, and we have to transfer cards and draw more. There's a little bit of luck to this as when the cards come out and the order they come out in and how people have them. You can manipulate that with transferring cards and moving things around, so the game gives you that aspect. But there is some luck in it. You know, if, if things come out terribly, you're just not going to win, although I think that would be rare. Now, this game really has a sense of humor. The fact that Kenny G signed off on this and was cool with it, you know, really says a lot about him and just how serious he takes himself, which is two thumbs up. Because this game is really funny, even from the title, Keeping It Sexy. You know, there's all kinds of innuendos in this game. Now, it's not to say it's dirty. There are some adult jokes that maybe your kids won't get, but nothing over the top. I felt comfortable letting my kids play this if they so wanted to. But at the end of the day, this is a mass market game. Anybody can really play this. At the end of the day, you're just matching icons. And the humor goes along with that. And you have a little bit of a timer with the little Gs that are out, you know, keeping a groovy uh, tokens that you don't want to run out or you'll lose the game. Really fun game. I mean, I don't think it's the best cooperative game in the world. I think if I put Pandemic on the table, I think it'll draw a lot more people in with that theme. But I think that this game with the humor that's on it and the fact that it's so easy to play will even be easier to play than something like Pandemic, which is sold at mass market and people play it all the time, right? This is even simpler than that to understand, not necessarily to win, although that might be the case, but it's a really fun game. And I think a lot of people on the lighter side of things will really enjoy this game. For me, it's going to be a keeper for a while. I'm going to keep this around. It's a good goof game. I think I can play with a lot of people. I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. Here's the board game Keeping It Sexy, starring Kenny G himself. This was a Target exclusive, I believe, that I was able to pick up. You open it up, you're going to have a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. You're going to have a very generic board that really just serves as a function to tell you how many cards you reveal based on the number of players. And then this would be the two and three player side. You're going to get a number of little these little G tokens and these big tarot sized cards that are really nice that come out each time. They're going to have different icons. That's really what matters. It tells you like his bed isn't made or a major storm is incoming. You're also going to get this saxophone first player marker. And you're going to get this little package here, which will have some purple dye in it. Some cards that you'll be using really just to match the icons. This is really all that matters, but you're encouraged to say the words on it. And then you're going to have Kenny G himself. That will be the tracker during the game. This piece is worth the price of a mission all by itself. Components are actually pretty good. I mean, some of this stuff is pretty bland, but it's just a little small cooperative game. Here are the rules of the game. You can see a quick overview and the objective of what you're trying to do. And contents without pictures. Boo. So this looks like it would open up like a book, but it's more like a map. Tells you some sexy facts about Kenny G. Everybody needs to know. The other side is going to be the game. Here is setup, all ready to go. Event phase, it kind of walks you through the end of game and how did you perform. There's a little chart here. You can get anything from amazing, maybe you should tour with Kenny G, to at least you're still grooving. So different things that you can do here. Roblox very easy, probably up and running in about five minutes. So each player will draw four cards to start the game. You'll have the deck near here. You're each of the event cards you will shuffle up. You'll have 12 of these groovy tokens out, and you'll start Kenny G there. It's very easy. You read what it says here. In a two-player game, you reveal two events. In a three-player game, you would event three. So let's say we're doing a two-player game, and you would look down here at what you would have. Now, each player is going to have three actions they can do on their turn. So when you have these cards, you can play them. So maybe I want to play this pink card to go there. And you have to play them in order. So that's my first action. I could play a card for what it says. Another player may immediately play one of their sound cards for an event. So let's say they had a blue card. I could play that there. Or on your turn, you can draw two cards. And that would be your turn. And then the other player would go. Now there are wall cards that will be any one. So maybe you could do this and you would finalize this. And it says when you complete it, you gain one groovy token. So we get an extra one, and this one here would go in the discard pile. Then you would go, whoops, skiddly-dee, wah, 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 
and then this would go into the discard pile and you would just have this one left over. You can also trade a card with another player that does require an action. So your four actions are play a card. So you can just play a card here, play a card for its ability. If it has an ability, draw two cards from the deck or trade a card with someone else. Now after the groove phase, what you're gonna do, uh, some of these will have where you'll roll dice and it will tell you how many that you go away. So in this case, we would take two of these groove tokens away. And if this ever runs out, we lose the game. If we ever get all the way to the end, we will win. So in the next phase, we would come out and we would draw another um, one event for a two player game. And this would come out, we would do the same thing. Once you move here, you would draw from this deck. And when you get here, you draw from that deck. And if you're able to survive all of the rounds and still have groovy points, you are the winner. If you ever lose all your groovy points, you are the loser and you did not keep Kenny G grooving. And that's how you play. Who should buy this game? I think this is for lighter gamers. If you have a Kenny G fan, obviously this is gonna be right in their wheelhouse. If you want a light cooperative game that you could literally take to Thanksgiving and play with your family, and people will be able to get into the humor a little bit, think it's funny, it's a little bit of a novelty. I think the game is very easy to teach. Really, you're just matching up icons, and I think you got to hit on your hands. Then maybe get them into other things like Pandemic or other cooperative games that they might enjoy. For me, it's going to be a keeper for a while. I don't know if it's something that I'll keep forever, but for now, it's going to stick around. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel, lets us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.